Historically, the VHTs have been asked to work as volunteers, and they've been courageous in doing that. But we know they're more effective when they're paid, because it's really hard to devote too much of your time when you're not paid. Secondly, they need support. They need coaching. They need counseling. They need training. They need supervision. And so the supervision aspect is critical um, to this. Um, the health workers we support are in touch with a paid supervisor at least once a week. We have been supporting village health teams. We've been, we've been giving them, you know, the things to use, the, the tools, the gumboots, the coats, the, the thermometers, the, all the gadgets to use, the medicines, the bags to keep their medicines, all those other things we have facilitated them. But, but what is missing is that, that monthly um, um, compensation for their time. But of course, some people are not really well educated. But I do believe that if if the decision was made to compensate for their time and and would start now giving them more tasks and more responsibilities, and that some of the responsibilities, if they cannot manage, if the, some education level is low, then they would choose. Maybe they would get other people who are have high education. Why well, I say what's our most important contribution? It's that we are showing that we're reducing child mortality in this country by nearly 30 percent. We've done two huge randomized studies that show that we're helping reduce child deaths significantly. We're also dramatically improving immunization rates. We've helped drive counterfeit uh, drugs out of the market. Congratulations, Living Goods, on your